Hey, how's it going? I hope you guys have been enjoying the Steel Rain updates as much as I have. Within this update, we gained access to a legendary crafting system. If you have not tried this out yet, do check out my video covering the ins and outs of legendary crafting. While I've been using this new crafting system, I found that I was running super low on screws. Screws are vital to crafting new weapons and modifications. So, as you can guess, I'm crafting a ton of weapons, I'm out of screws. A few people have asked where they can get screws. My answer to the screw shortage is an event called a Colossal Problem. In this event, if you focus collecting screws, you can get well over 400 screws in about 5 to 10 minutes. This method, to collect screws, will require you to launch a nuke. Here on the map, you can see the location the nuke needs to be dropped, and the event after the nuke drops. If you need help launching a nuke, I do have a video covering the process in the description below. Before you join this event, it would be wise to grab a fairly hefty stack of ammo, maybe a couple weapons, along with a good set of armor or power armor. You do not need to bring stim packs with you because you will respawn within the event if you die. And because it's an instance, you won't drop your junk on death either, so that means you won't lose your screws. When you join this event, you will find yourself at the top of an old mine. Go ahead and follow the tunnel down until you reach a slightly larger area containing a small trailer and a few disabled robots in the corner. Here you will wait for the mineshaft rubble to clear. There will be a small countdown in the top right corner of your screen so you'll know when that shaft opens. When the rubble clears, there will be a mineshaft you need to jump down. If you are not in power armor, do be careful because the drop can cause fall damage. Once at the bottom of the shaft, you'll be in a dark cavern. Be aware of the timer in the top right corner. The event lasts about 25 minutes after the shaft opens. If you make your way to the east end of the cavern, you will see the boss for this event. He is a 3 star Wendigo Colossus with the name Earl Williams. He has a few different attacks. The most annoying of his attacks is a screech that sends everyone in the area running away. Now, the real reason we are here is not to fight Earl. We are here for his minions, the Wendigo spawn. Here I kill one, and you can see on the remains, we find fiberglass spool and loose screws. Generally, there's somewhere between four to eight screws and fiberglass on each Wendigo. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but usually between four and eight. But do be careful, as the cave does have a few hazards to be aware of. The most important one to avoid comes in the form of falling embers from the top of the cavern. As you can see, these embers pack a huge punch. I died. Fortunately, because this event is within an instance, you will not drop your items on death and you will just respawn back at the top of the mineshaft, so all you have to do is jump back down. As the event progresses, more and more Wendigos will spawn. It's not uncommon to see as many as 10 attacking you at the same time. A high rate of fire weapon is a good pick. Minigun, flamethrower, gatling gun, something like that would work well. Now let's get real. This event is hard to complete, so if there are not a lot of other players here, you should help kill Earl. If everyone showed up to events just to farm materials, no one would ever complete these things. So do make sure you help with this event. Fallout 76 has a good community. Help keep that community in good order. Help kill Earl. Do it. Just do it. If you want to just farm screws, go into a private server, drop a nuke, and farm all day long. Now I didn't farm the whole time. I did help kill Earl. Once Earl has been killed, you will get a pop-up saying the mine is about to collapse. Make sure to loot Earl as he will have screws and fiberglass to pick up as well as a legendary to grab. Keep in mind, you have a short amount of time to escape the cave after you've killed Earl. A timer will pop up in the top right corner of your screen. At this point, there will be quite a few Wendigo spawning and running around. You can continue to kill and loot them if you'd like, and at about the 15 second mark on the timer, just fast travel out of the cave. Or, just run up the cave a bit, killing more Wendigo as you go. The cave will collapse on you, and it will just teleport you outside of the cave. Once out of the cave, you'll get your rewards from the event, and here, you can see what we collected for screws and fiberglass. I got 156 screws and 123 fiberglass spools. Now, do keep in mind, I did not farm for screws the whole time. We killed Earl in about 8 minutes, so there were 17 minutes left for the event after we'd killed Earl. And only about 3 of those 8 minutes did I spend farming. So if we do some quick math, 
That's about 50 screws a minute. So if we kill Earl slower and use almost the whole time limit for the event, you can get well over a thousand screws really quick. Plus the huge pile of fiberglass you collect. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you did like this video, do let me know by hitting that like button. It really does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I've got a bunch of Fallout 76 content, a really good playlist on my channel. Go check it out. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.